Bonjour et bienvenue. Je m'appelle Zach Sherwin. Voici un crossword show solo. All right, that's probably enough of my impeccable and impeccably accented French, which is the foreign language I chose to study way back in high school. Oh la la, j'étais super cool et chouette. Bon, allons-y to today's word, which comes from our fourth puzzle, Next Time Won't You. It's seven down, and we clue it as French cake. As always, pause the video if you want more time. But now it's time for me to reveal the answer, which is gâteau. Now, the online crossword puzzle database Xword Info informs us that the word gâteau has appeared in the New York Times crossword puzzle on 14 total occasions, the first of which was May 19th, 1946. A gâteau is a rich cake, typically one containing layers of cream or fruit. Like, for example, this black forest cake, the Wikipedia page for which is actually titled Black Forest Gâteau. The distinctive ingredient in a Black Forest Gâteau is a clear cherry brandy called Kirsch, which happens to be mentioned in the first line of the novel The Crying of Lot 49. Thomas Pinchon writes, One summer afternoon, Mrs. Oedipa Moss came home from a Tupperware party whose hostess had put perhaps too much Kirsch in the fondue. Again, that's the very beginning of the book. Now, the closing sentence of The Crying of Lot 49. Oedipus settled back to await The Crying of Lot 49. So the book's title and its ending words are identical. Other books of which this is true include The Silence of the Lambs, Stephen King's It, The City and the City, a science fiction novel I like, and, of course, Everyone Poops. Relevant category, movies whose titles are the same as their last spoken words of dialogue. Notable examples here include The Breakfast Club, Chinatown, The Dark Knight, and My Dinner with Andre, starring Wallace Shawn, who also played Vizzini, the Sicilian, in The Princess Bride, featuring another Andre, the giant. Seven feet, four inches tall. So imagine how big this cake must have been. Andre the Giant was born Andre René Roussimoff in Grenoble, in France, where they do call a cake a gâteau. Ah, and the date he was born? May 19th, 1946, the same day gâteau first appeared in the New York Times crossword puzzle. Maybe right now you're making a face like this. Or maybe it's like this. Or maybe it's something like this. But really any of those is fine with me because I like all the faces. This has been a Crossword Show Solo. I'm Zach Sherwin. Merci beaucoup et au revoir. Okay, so we listed several books whose titles and ending words are identical, but most books don't work that way, and that's probably a good thing. Take Of Mice and Men for an example. I think Steinbeck was smart not to call that book by its ending words, because if he had, the title would be Two Guys. Or what about The Plague? Really dark book, a fittingly dark title. I think readers might feel misled if Camus had decided to call that book by its last two words, Happy City. And Absalom, Absalom by Faulkner is kind of a weird title to begin with, but it's still better than the alternative because the last sentence of that book is, I don't hate it. I mean, if you're gonna review your own book in the title, at least call it something like a heartbreaking work of staggering genius that might move a few extra copies. Anyway, if you can think of fun examples of these, go ahead and throw them in the comments. We'll see you next time. And until then, like my high school self's pants, hang loose.